L listen, listen, listen. I've got, I've got stuff to do. I'll get you your calculations in the morning. Don't give me a deadline, all right? You're NASA. You can figure things out on your own for a little while, okay? Listen, listen I've, I've really got to go. Okay, bye. I know why you're here. It's called triangulation. You're having some difficulties with it. It comes in handy. I know that you were last night perhaps staring into the stars, wondering how far that nebula is. Or perhaps maybe you were staring at an oncoming car and you wanted to know how far away that was and you quickly did a scale drawing in your head and you found out precisely how far away that thing baby was. And that's why you jumped out of the way on time. So we're gonna do some triangulation. Let's rock and roll. All right, so here we are. Triangulation. So here you are, staring at a star in the distant heavens. Um, and you decide to grab a couple of telescopes. The first thing you need to do is, with those two telescopes, from two different positions, we will cleverly label them A and B, look at the same star in the, in the heavens there. So first thing that we can do is measure the distance. We're gonna call this the actual baseline here. And let's just say this was, for simplicity's sake, 100 meters away, okay? So 100 meter distance, point A and B. This telescope's looking at this star, same star, yippity doo dog. And on the old telescopes, you um, can measure the angle. So let's say just, once again, I'm just picking numbers, I don't care. Let's say this is an, at an 80 degree angle from point A, and the same star looking at it is 70 degrees. I repeat, I just picked these numbers. So these are the three things that you need in order to calculate distance. You can't physically walk, oh, that was a bad line. You can't physically walk with a, like a tape measure to measure something way far away to get the distance. We don't know it, okay? But what we can measure are these three things. A baseline, angle one, angle two. With those three things, then we can calculate the distance. And it's all about a scale drawing. So we get our measurements out in the field. Then we go sit down in a nice cozy place and grab this little ruler here. And uh, we go ahead and draw. We're gonna be recreating this to scale, okay? To scale means this triangle that I'm about to measure Let's just give it a baseline of five centimeters, okay? It means that uh, this little paper triangle is gonna equal, at a smaller scale, the distance of the stars and whatever. So it's important to get this precise. That's why I actually used a ruler. So we have this baseline, this other baseline, and we measured it at five centimeters. Now just for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna convert that into meters. If you don't know how to do that, ask somebody. Okay, I'm not gonna spend any time doing that. So 0 0.05 meters, that's the actual distance of this baseline, okay? Then we get our crazy little protractor. Oh my goodness, we're going back to elementary school. This angle was measured at 70 degrees, okay? So I put it on the baseline. This is, I'm gonna put a little dot at 70. I'm gonna go over here. This little baby was at 80 degrees. Okay, and so I use the protractor correctly. Once again, I'm not gonna do a tutorial about that, but I do a couple of lines. Then what I do is I take my fancy ruler of science and I go ahead and draw a nice big fat triangle connecting the dots. You guys know how to do this. Yo, Joe. All right, and we go down and do this number here. All right, now we have this triangle. So baseline, angle, this one is at 80, this one's at 70, recreating the conditions of the actual field experiment. And way up here will be our glittering nice little star. And so the easy thing and the great thing actually about a scale drawing is the fact that I can go ahead and draw something on paper that represents something that I measured outside, draw a line. Now, unlike this over here, I can physically measure this with a ruler, right? And when I measure this with a ruler, that's too hard, it's about nine centimeters or for simplicity's sake, just for me, 0 0.09 meters, okay? Scale drawing, actual field. Now, I drew this just because you needed to see it. The next thing that we actually need to do is set up our ratio, 
Okay, so I'm going to set up a ratio and you know how to do this. Okay, we have this ratio will equal this one. So this is gonna, my uh, numerator position is going to be the actual results and the denominator, I'm just gonna say these are my scale. Ah, my scale numbers. Okay, so let's talk about the baseline. I know in actual life, because I measured it, the baseline in actual life is 100 meters, distance between A and B. The scale here was 0 0.05 meters. All right, so actual scale. And this is talking about the baseline over here. So if the baseline equals 100 meters in real life, what would the distance be? Well, we still don't know. But we do know in actual life, the baseline is 0 0.5 centimeters, or 0 0.5 meters, I should say. And we also measured the distance physically, the distance from this baseline to the star measured by my ruler of awesome is 0 0.09 meters. Okay, that's the actual distance. Okay, and so remember, we're looking for this baby, the distance. So if 100 meters equals uh, the baseline in real life, what would the distance be given that on our scale drawing 0 0.5 meters is the baseline and 0 0.9 is, the, is the, uh, uh, the, the distance, the measured distance. So cross multiplication, 100 times 0 0.9 divided by whatever. I actually calculated ahead of time, it's actually 180 meters away. That seems a little close for a star. Perhaps, maybe, they were actually looking at a street light or something. But the science, the math, is sound. Real results, real data, scale drawing, it actually was, this light was 180 meters away. That's how you triangulate stuff. I hope this helped. Enjoy.